Hello everybody, I'm in the workshop uh, to build a fresh bike, which is super exciting. I've got the new Nuke Proof uh, Giga 290 Carbon. I've got some really cool parts, so I'm gonna get busy and start building a brand new bike. So this is the fresh 2023 frame. This is in cosmic black. Whoa, I've seen that, Actually, that's super cool. There's a bit of like sparkle to it underneath there. So it's not just standard black. Uh, and this is a medium frame, so I'm five foot 10, about one, seven, eight centimeters. Uh, I've had a previous Giga medium, it suits me fine. Reach is about four, five, five, I think, on the medium, and it's head angle of 63 and a half, 170 mil travel bike, and I've got some amazing parts to go on this, so I'm gonna get busy, start bolting things onto it. So far so good. I'm using the SRAM access, the new transmission stuff. So that makes my life so much easier. I'm not running uh, cables and hoses, except for the rear brake hose, which I'll go through, uh, through the internal routine. I'm kind of using some bits I already have that I've been, I've used before. So I've um, got to change the length of the hoses probably when it comes to my brake levers. And I'm just kind of bolting everything on loose at the moment, I'm trying to get the angles there or thereabouts for kind of bar roll and stuff like that, just to try and get kind of hoses as close as I can to the right right length. Um, but I will always find that I'll take the bike out for the, on the trail first time and I'll be tweaking levers and bar roll and things like that. But kind of, I know kind of where I want them with bar roll is kind of in line with the fork. So I need to roll this a little bit further forward. And uh, yeah, just keep bolting stuff on really. Brake hose, because it's kind of a different bike. Um, it's kind of short with a 180 fork. I'll see what it looks like. I can always swap that out after. So I've threaded the, the rear brake hose through the frame. It's got all internal sort of uh, routing for it as well. So it pops out right where you need it. I like wrapping the hoses around the head tube. So there's a nice sort of mellow bend on them over to the bar. So getting there, I need to sort the hose, the hose lengths out and then uh, sort of guts the bike are ready to go. And, uh, start on the wheels next, get some fresh tires on these wheels. New bikes, uh, new rubber as well. And these are actually brand new. So these are the Vittoria Mazza race version. So I always run Mazza's, I love them. They're just super versatile. 29, 2.6 actually, so quite big. Uh, and these are the race compounds. So I guess one thing that people are saying about Mazza's is they're maybe oh. rubber compounds slightly hard, but I've always liked that actually because they last a really long time. And I'm not racing, so I don't need the softest compound, but now that I've got these, I'm uh, really starting to try these out. So they're in the Enduro build. It's a nice, tough tire. Got that uh, red sidewall in there as well. And yeah, so this race tire has got softer compounds, so super grippy. And uh, stick them on this Enduro bike, why not? So I'm running uh, Spank wheels, the 350 rim up front, 359 rear. I actually like aluminium wheels for a big hitting bike like this, so enduro bike, and we're thrashing it down rough rocky mountains. I like the feel of aluminium rims, so uh, 
carbon fiber frame, nothing else great, but I like the give you get from these rims. Okay, the day is drawing to an end. Uh, I've only got a couple more things to do. We've got a fit chain, trim the rear brake hose, bleed the brakes, and then I can't wait to ride this thing tomorrow. So there it is, my new proof Giga out in the sunshine. Uh, I absolutely love it. It's proper stealth compared to the yellow bike that I, it was before this. So I did a frame swap, but obviously I've done a, quite a few upgrades as well, like I've spoke about already. I've set it up, I've done a few tweaks already. So actually I've swapped out some of the sort of brake mounting bolts, put some titanium bolts in there. They hardly save any weight, but I think they look proper cool. It makes the bike look factory. And now I've set it up, so just about to take it out for a ride. Um, with these enduro tires, soft compound, I've gone for 25 PSI up front, 28 PSI in the rear. The fork came off the other bike, so I've not changed pressure at all. I've got 180 PSI in the Float X2 rear shock, and I've adjusted all the sort of settings on there from the manual, basically. So it tells you, you know, according to how much pressure you put in, how many clicks you want, the low speed rebound, and high speed rebound and the same for the compression so loads setting on the shock pretty much ready to roll uh, bars are cut to 760 i've kind of filled around with these uh pod controllers for the axis stuff to get them in the right spot feels pretty good i've got this new proof mount here basically for a strap so i can put some some plugs and a co2 canister on there for when i'm doing the bigger rides don't necessarily need that today uh i think that's it i think it's ready to roll Loving it, all feels really good. Actually setup feels pretty spot on already. I reckon I need to do a little uh, bolt check. I always feel like linkages need checking first time you ride, but it feels great. The tires feel super grippy. I might feel like I want to put the enduro, the sort of the non-race ones back on for normal riding. They feel super, super grippy, but maybe like a little bit too draggy for most of my riding. So maybe keep them for the racing, who knows, but. I'll leave them on for now. The conditions are absolutely prime. It's been so dry and it's just had a little dust in the rain. It feels so grippy at the moment. So uh, stoked on the new bike. Uh, let me know what you think down below and uh, what adventures you think I should take it on. I've actually not planned any racing this year so far. So uh, maybe I should think about that. Anyway, give us a thumbs up if you love my new bike.